Conservationists are outraged that a young male jaguar was shot and killed, beheaded, and its body dumped in the Belize River. It was fished out by Mike Hushner and handed over to the relevant authorities, who have since launched an investigation into the incredible act of violence against wildlife. It was, you know, caught up in some bushes, but it looks like a, you know, a young adult uh, jaguar. I'm fairly certain it's a jaguar. I can't guarantee it, but I think it is. But the head, head is uh, cut off. Um, it looks pretty obvious that it was cut because of a clean cut through the skin. Then um, I saw several uh, pellet, pellet holes in the left shoulder and left arm, and uh, left forearm. And I think, um, I think that's probably what killed it. They probably shot it and then uh, cut the head off. In this region, Belize has the healthiest population of the jaguar species, which is roughly about a thousand of this type of wild cat. The Forest Department, which is responsible for the protection of wildlife, is not taking this incident lightly because it is the second case in two weeks where dead jaguars were found floating in waterways in or near Belize City. Unfortunately, it, uh, it does happen, um, not very often, but it is very disturbing because this is already the second case in two weeks. Um, uh, some persons might remember there was one uh, approximately two weeks ago in the canals in Belize City. So it is something very disturbing for us and we're taking this very seriously and we have to um, find out why exactly we have this increased amount of cases happening right now. So unfortunately for the last case, um, two weeks ago we were unable to find the body when we went on the ground we did not find the carcass um, so we were not able to further investigate about what was possibly the, the cause of that but for this uh, situation which happened yesterday we have already recovered the, the carcass and we are going to be following with the necropsy to ensure that we have the correct um, reason for that and from there on we will continue our investigations because this should not be allowed you guys are on the ground today Yes, yes, we are. We are scouting the area and finding for um, more information and possibly more evidence. But there are many real threats to jaguars as well as other wildlife. The jaguar is protected under the laws of Belize, but is often killed either because it is a problem cut to farmers or for economic purposes. The teeth, bones and skin of the wildcat are being sought at top prices. Recently, artisans and residents have been prosecuted for possession of wildlife parts, primarily teeth. We have two main reasons why we possibly think that it is happening. One of them is because of human wildlife conflict, where jaguars come and eat cattle, sheep, pigs. Um, so sometimes farmers retaliate and kill them. But it can also be because of the body parts. We have seen an increase um, in demand for the, the tooth, the claws, the skin, for almost every part of the jaguar. Um, so that is driving the demand, and that's why possibly we are having more deaths. Uh, artisans are using these body parts to sell as fine jewelry for very, very high prices. Um, actually, last week they, we had an enforcement team out in Placencia where we managed to get and confiscate a lot of artisans and jewelry um, which had jaguar and crocodile parts in them. There are numerous fines associated with crimes against jaguars and other protected wildlife species. Shanelle Carrillo of the Forest Department says humans and wildlife must cohabitate. So a person, if you are found killing a jaguar, you can be charged a maximum of $10,000 and or 12 months imprisonment. What we're trying to do is to make sure that people understand that this is an offense and you can get charged for it. So we are trying to improve our enforcement teams out there to make sure that we can take people to court if you are caught doing the wrong thing. Dwayne Moody for News 5.